I better get ready for this review. So let me just, uh, here we go. Got my shirt on, I'm all ready to go. I'm ready to review Journey 2, the fantasy island. I mean, the mysterious island. <laughs> I love this shirt, it's a great shirt. Paid a one dollar for this shirt. I'm a huge fan of Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. He showed a lot of promise in 2003 with The Rundown, and we thought that his career was going to go to just straight action movies. And then he took a crazy turn and started making all these family movies that I felt were so unwatchable. I had seen a couple of them, and I, I just... I know he has a family, so he's, he wants to have something he could show his kids, and, and I appreciate that. But these choices that he was making felt so mediocre. It's a movie that you would you would rent and put in the DVD player and let the kids watch it while you do whatever you need to do. It's just something you, you can't really enjoy with them. The cool thing about The Rock, or Dwayne Johnson as he wants to be called now, since that is his real name, <laughs> that he's he is exploring um, action movies now. We got to see him in Fast Five and hopefully Six and Seven. I am really excited to see The Rock in a really good R-rated action movie with a lot of violence and fun and excitement over the top, unbelievable stunts. So I'm hoping that still comes because he's a great talent. He can act really well on screen. He's a lot of fun to watch. He's got a great look, great personality. And that fight sequence in Fast Five with Vin Diesel, probably one of the best parts of that movie. I just saw his latest film. And I didn't really want to go see it. I had no desire. I didn't really like the first journey with Brendan Fraser, who I'm a fan of. But it just felt like a gimmick, and the story n never excelled from that gimmick. And just 3D stuff popping out at you. So I'm watching Journey 2, and it's kind of slow at first. Don't really know what to make of it. And then all of a sudden, a really great character actor showed up who I'd seen in the previous, so I knew he was going to show up sometime. Luz Guzman. Once he showed up on screen, I felt the movie started. The Rock looked great. Josh looked great. Once Luz showed up... <laughs> once Luz showed up, the movie... I don't know, it just it surprised me. He was very, very funny. The cast was really good. Vanessa Hudgens looks beautiful as ever. And then all of a sudden, thanks to the preview, because we know that, and I didn't really... I'm, I, I remember seeing the preview going, I'm never going to see this movie, because this movie looks terrible. I don't want to see this movie. Look who's in it. I can't believe it. Michael Caine is in this film. What is he thinking? Is this something he can show his grandchildren? Then he shows up in the movie, and he knocks it out of the park. The locations look great. The production design looks great. The 3D is incredible. I saw this in IMAX Light 3D. 3D. <laughs> it surprised the out of me. This movie's not going to win any awards. It's not going to change hearts. It's not going to change the face of cinema anytime soon. But the 3D is incredible. The special <coughs> the special effects look incredible. I almost have the same feelings when I saw Jurassic Park for the first time. It's not the same kind of exciting story, but that wonder and excitement, it just looked beautiful and the action was fun, the humor was great, everybody really meshed well. I was just so shocked. I, I, I just thought to myself, if I saw this at the age of eight years old, I would eat this thing up. This might be one of those movies that I would grow up to still love. This is a movie... I, I know it's, it's not gonna, you know, change lives, but it's a really fun piece of entertainment. And they they seem like they're having a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun as an audience member. I was looking forward to the next adventure. If you have kids, this is a great movie that you and your kids can enjoy. There's nothing that's really disgusting or offensive. It, it's just really good, wholesome entertainment with a lot of adventure. I couldn't help but have a really good time. I'm, I'm shocked that I'm even saying this. And uh, if you if you if you didn't like the movie, I totally understand. But if you did, 
you know, please comment below and let me know what you thought of it. If you've seen it, if you're even thinking about seeing it, if you have no desire to see it all, comment. For for a while, I thought, ah, this is just a guilty pleasure. I'm having fun, but there's really nothing. I don't know what to make of this. But once it kicked in high gear and Guzman showed up on the scene, it never stopped. There's a lot of great sequences with animals, both big and small. There's there's a lot of genuine humor that I was laughing and having a good time. If you have a family and you're looking for something to take your kids to go see that you can also enjoy yourselves, I highly recommend you go see Journey to the Mysterious Fantasy Island. Tour for singles. <laughs> I'm going to give the film a genuinely wonderful and exciting, fun entertainment for the whole family, a big three stars. Again, you know, comment below. Let me know if you agree or not.